how to start a hair business with no inventory. So this is a pre-made store that I made, y'all. You can literally start your own hair business without holding any without holding any inventory. This is a pre-made dropshipping hair store I made. Um, click the link in the bio to view that. And you already know we're on Shopify, the only platform you should be using if dropshipping. So you'll go to say, uh, sales channel. Sales channel. You type in the vendor, which is D-S-E-R. Or I think it's D-S-E-R-S. <laughs> but anyway, right here, D-S-E-R-S, AliExpress dropshipping. And this is how you add the app. You will, um, you'll click install. And the reason why I know this is because I used to drop ship um, clothes. So I already know that once you, um, you know, use AliExpress, you can drop ship anything. And there's tons of hair vendors on AliExpress. And I want to let the girls know that you can actually start your own hair business without holding any inventory. Going into 2024, I'm sure you probably want to start a business. So I got you. So after this, you just say log in, authorize. It's a little confusing, but... I promise y'all it's easy. I want to log in. And once I'm logged in, this is where the drop shipping goes down. Okay, so also you'll want to um, pull up your AliExpress account. So be sure you log into your AliExpress account, like I said. Yeah, sign in. I said sign in, sign in. Everybody sign in. Okay. You'll click AliExpress because that's who our supplier is on D-S-E-R-S. -E yes, you can start for free, but of course you're going to want to order samples. And this is just a simple video of how you can, um, how you can start, how you can start. So your import list will be over here is where um, you'll be adding products. So yeah, that's closed, don't get confused. Let me show you, I'm gonna show you the, how to um, sync the vendor. So you'll start saving stuff to your wish list. So let's just say Br Brazilian Lace Front Human Hair Wig. So it says right here, there's free shipping, free shipping. Y'all see the prices, how many items sold, 700, 900. You can drop ship all of this. So it's just that when drop shipping, let's just say a customer places an order on your website and then you go place the order on your vendor's website. Before placing the order on your vendor's website, obviously before you even start selling to customers, be sure you order a sample. Be sure you order a sample and make sure that the vendor's information is not on the item. You know what I'm saying? Because if it does come like that, then you just need to order the items to your house and then ship that to your customer. But at the same time, you'll still make a profit. You'll still make enough money, but that's just something to keep in mind. I didn't even see this, y'all. So let's see if I can just add it. Oh, it says import. Oh, look. So already imported. So yeah, it's already imported. So I can actually just go back and click add to DSER. They've made this way easier. Usually you'll have to go to your wish list, but it's just easy. So you should already see the orange button. You'll just click, um, yeah, add to DSER. So let's just go here. Add to DSER, right? So now you should have a few products already synced. So after that, closing all the tabs. Do not want to be confused. And then I'll go back to my import list, refresh. This is the longest process, y'all, adding the items. Just want to click the pencil. You can change the cover image. You know, try to go for a good photo. Um... I personally wouldn't like use a model. I probably just use use the mannequin. Use the mannequin. Click select, and that will change the cover photo. And then you can choose like what collection. Obviously, this is like the wrong store, so you can choose a collection. You can change the title. Highlight it to um. Lace front, you know, just something, and then you see these tabs at the top. You'll want to go one by one changing them. So, you see, the shipping is at zero. The um, compare price, the compare price is pretty much of if, if you want to like have a sale, so you would put like, um, like you know, a cheaper price than, than the actual price. So, you want to change that to zero though, because if you're just starting off, you don't want to have a sale. So, you see that changes to zero. You may have to go one by one changing the price since, you know, it's different bundles. 
Um, this is why this um, is very time consuming. So let's see. Let's go back. And this is all the items, which is not too many. Okay, so for this one, you can change the price. This is the cost of the price. So depending on how much you want to make, you know, you can do, uh, let's see. So if you want to double that, that'll be like 120, 140, 180. 195 you know that's how you'll change the prices and then you're going to uh, change them one by one and then you can do your own description you know you don't want to have too much of this like i think you may have the brand layer see right here it says the brand's name you might want to delete that you know go through the photos the you'll have to scroll down because they do have pictures here and you really don't want these photos maybe like not even that one you don't want you want to delete all these photos in the description and then once you scroll back up, you'll go to images. Now, this is the images that will be imported to your store. Make sure they don't have the brand name. You can uncheck them before inserting to the store, you know. Um, so, yeah, this is some photos that you may want. Um, I always suggest taking your own photos, honestly, because this just looks like AliExpress. Like, it just has AliExpress written over it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can make the store for you. Um, shipping info, that's nothing. And then once you're done, you'll click uh, save at the bottom. And then we can import that product straight to Ali, uh, not straight to, import this product to Shopify. You'll click push to store. So let's just go like that. You click which store, which, and it girl hair is the store I got. And then you want to also click also push to um, store, also publish to online store. And then that's loading. And you'll do the same thing for each item. Like I said, when you want to, um, when you're drop shipping, you want to take your own photos. You want to brand your own, you know, store. So it doesn't look like an AliExpress store. So if I come back to my store, we're on Shopify. And you will click this, go to your products, and this is how it imported. But like I said, you want to fix the description, the pictures, make a collection. And you definitely want to fix the prices one by one. Obviously, I didn't do that because, you know, it does take a while. But I just want you all to know that's how you do it. And this is pretty much how to start drop shipping. Okay, so for right here, y'all, the, the image wasn't showing like you know properly the prices on my um, on a store. So you got to make sure you click online store, and um, when you go to more actions, just um, edit that. So yeah, is that what I click? I think that's what I click. Y'all know what I what I just showed y'all. That's how you you know add it. And be sure it shows in your store properly. And there we go. So you got to make sure it shows in your online store, or else you know the prices is not gonna show. Um, so I only did like change like a few. Um, so yeah, for natural color, I did change it, you know, you got to go one by one. I just really only changed like one or two, y'all. I think the original price for this was like 65. And then the original price for that was like 75, you remember? And then, um, the original, uh, the original price for that was like $80, you know? So you got to go one by one. Cause if you click over here, it, those are the original prices. You want to change that so you, so you can make a profit. So yeah, this is pretty much how you, um, can drop ship and then like I said you want to um change the photos too you do not want all them photos there it just looks tacky so yeah this is how you drop ship starting with no inventory like I said AliExpress DSER and I do have um pre-made stores for sale this is just a quick video But let me go to my website. So my business is Angels Who Hustle. Um, I have pre-made stores. You'll go to pre-made dropship businesses. And yeah, I have stores for sale because I know this can be pretty time consuming. Pre-made hair wig store. And this is the store right here. And you can view it. The link is in the description. Oh, where's the password? I need to go back and add the password. But yeah, you can uh, view it um, in the description. There are USA vendors on AliExpress. This is what the um, drop shipping store comes with. Just so you are aware, we help you out. We don't leave you hanging. But if you were to go back to AliExpress, um, let me see. If you were to go back to AliExpress, you can literally look up. Um, you can look up USA vendors. So let me go back, y'all. 
Because I know some people be like, oh, the shipping, the shipping, the shipping. Baby, they have USA vendors, like, literally fast shipping. So you'll click that. And then you'll want to go to click over here, shipping from United States. Now, look, these are all the vendors that ship within the United States. That means the shipping going to be between three to five, seven business days. So if you stay to the end, you got a gym, y'all. So, yeah, link in the description for pre-made uh, hair stores, vendors list, and all that. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.